Pro Power Performance. This next group of exercises will be individual isolations of each leg. So this will be for more advanced people. So here I am once again, letting you know that we want to keep that knee and toe in the same alignment. We do not want it to go in and out. All right. That's where we're going to keep our strength. And as you see on my first chance, my knee went in and I lost my balance. Once you keep that toe and knee in the same alignment with your hip and your shoulder. Now you can execute this exercise properly. With this close up view, you can see I'm balancing the whole time on my right foot, not allowing that left foot to touch the ground. With any balancing act, you got to keep a strong core to maintain. Now what you can see from this angle is always keeping that 90 degree angle from the hip to the knee to the ankle. That's what's going to give you your strength and maintain your balance. So if you can't keep your foot off the ground, this will be the first variation by just driving the heel into the ground and helping yourself up. And then when you come to the top, come into balance by putting both feet on the ground. Now for the step up, make sure you have a strong, sturdy chair and that you're not going to go through it. Now, once again, me showing you the 90 degrees and not allowing that knee to go inside or outside so you can maintain strength and balance. When doing the step ups, make sure you stand all the way up, bring the hips all the way through to the knee, hip, ankle and shoulder are all in the same alignment. Now from this angle, I'm showing that you want to step down. A lot of my clients tend to step back and lose their balance. Step down so you always achieve your 90 degrees from ankle to knee to hip. Step down. If it's still too easy for you, well, pick up the pace. Right leg lead, up, down, up, down. Then switch it and go left leg lead, up, down. Be aware, one leg will be stronger than the other, so take your time when doing these exercises and isolating each leg. 